Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex and vital sex and the topic for this video is how to be a giver. We're exploring now giver-receiver sessions where one of the partners totally surrenders while the other person becomes the giver. It can be in the form of soft healing, something that becomes much more sexual activation, lingam or yoni massage. And uh, the, the topic for this video is really to help you understand what are the guidelines if you are the one giving a session who are really serving and offering that healing or that touch to somebody, what are the, you know, the core values or the core guidelines to make this session really successful? The first thing is that when uh, you start the session, before you start, before you engage into any form of sexual or physical practice, you want to have a kind of interview or take in a minute to check what are the intentions for that person. You know, do they need a sexual or physical healing? Do they want to experience pleasure? Do they want to have emotional release or just sexual activation? You know, what is the intention? And you have a whole range of possible intentions when you are the giver and when you are or when you are the receiver. So uh, checking intentions is a very important thing because then you are going to direct what you are doing according to what you know, to what they want, so that their agenda is also part of the, the story. Um, another aspect which is important is to check boundaries. You are going to check with that person, Do you are you comfortable with nakedness? Uh, are there any parts of your body that you don't want me to touch? Um, you know, what kind of uh, touch do you need right now? On what part of the body do you need something which is more sexual or something which is more healing? So you're going to check the boundaries and, and understand exactly what this person is open for or not. Okay? So this will give you a frame to create safety with, uh, with that, that person. Sometimes the person with who you are having the session, you know, you can have a, a, a giver-receiver session with somebody who is not actually a tantric lover. And uh, for that person to feel really safe, they must know that you are going to respect their boundaries, that it's not going to turn into something sexual halfway where you're coming in with your own sexual agenda and pushing that on, on them. So especially when you, have, uh, you are having sessions or exchange giver-receiver sessions with somebody who is not your lover, checking these boundaries and understanding the intention is very important. If you are having a giver-receiver session with uh, somebody who is already your tantric lover, your husband or your wife, and, and you simply want to play along that line and, and have that as a, you know, as a sexual practice, a sexual exchange, as your tantric sex date, then very often you will know much more about each other already. But, you know, still taking a moment to check in in the beginning of the session is very important. The, another core aspect is really the respect, okay? Um, the person who is the, the, the receiver is really going to open up and receive uh, your, you know, your, your energy and your touch and uh, creating a sense of safety and a sense where they can feel comfortable is uh, really the top priority. And um, sometimes what that person will need is first a sense of nurturing, a sense of love, a sense of care, that you're really there for them rather than to jump in with your own uh, sexual agenda or something, forcing them into a certain experience that they don't necessarily want to have. You know, maybe as the giver, you think that the highest uh, gift you can give them is to, uh, to bring them to an orgasmic trance when in fact all they need is sexual healing, is, is something which is much softer, a softer touch. And so uh, if you're trying to force an agenda on, on them, it's going to be hurtful to the experience and to the spirit of what you're creating there. So it's important to look at it as an art. You need to be very receptive and listening to what their needs are. Um, it's important as well that as the giver, you have a certain presence and a certain power <coughs> that um, when the moment comes and you want them to turn around, for instance, if you have been massaging their back and then it's time to massage the front, then be directive. You know, you tell them, okay, turn around, you know, and be there holding space with very clear uh, intention or instructions. If you see that they are getting dehydrated and they need to drink, just give them some water. Take, be really a space holder who is really in charge of the space to create that sense of safety. The receiver will be surrendering and ideally they don't have to interfere in any way with what, what you are doing. <clears throat> 
And so uh, take care of the, the, the safety aspect and the comfort aspects as the, the giver. Another important uh, point here is to uh, time your session. You decide before you start how long the session is going to last. And um, this is so that there is no confusion, you know, uh, if um, you don't know for how long that session is going to take, then very often there is a sense of, um, you know, uh, a little bit of uh, unsafety or insecurity around that because uh, you might think that uh, the, the receiver is expecting more when in fact they had enough. And so simply timing it and deciding before you start, is it going to be 15 minutes, half an hour, an hour, you set up a timer so that there is a little ring or a little bed that, that comes after once, once that, uh, that period of time is, um, is completed. And that's going to give a safe container. It means that you will really create a container that is, that is safe. Also as the giver, you know, take care of the space of creating sacred space, take care of the beauty, making sure that uh, if you are giving a massage that the sheets are clean, that there is some incense, some candles burning, some soft music. It is not going to be disturbing. If uh, there is a shift in the music and there is a high beat coming in, just go and change it and put it back to something soft. It means that you are really the space holder to create a beautiful experience for, for, the, for the receiver. Um, Another important aspect is be totally present. Okay, don't go and start checking your cell phone, turn off all the, the digital equipment and don't get distracted. Be fully present for, for that person. Being fully present means that you need to have some skills or some ideas about how to do what you're about to do. Uh, the idea that there is a potential exploration there is also totally okay. It means that sometimes you are going to be, uh, you know, exchanging sessions with giver receiver roles, and um, sometimes it's not it's not clear what kind of techniques you are going to use before you start. You are being guided by spirit, and it's a little bit of uh, energetic, um, um, yeah, energetic exploration in, in the techniques, and that's possible as well. Um, another important point is check in with the, the, the receiver every now and then. You uh, make eye contact. Is this okay? Is this too, too strong or too hard? Uh, is this too soft? Do you have any special wishes right now? Is it okay? You know, you don't ask them to micromanage you, you but you do a check in every, every few minutes just to make sure that what's happening is in line with what they would like to receive. Because uh, if they are you know, just getting bored there with your touch and it's not in alignment with what they were they are expecting and it's good for, for them to have an opportunity to check in with you and um, yeah, give you some feedback while the session goes on. Um, another important aspect is that the way you, you, uh, you finish the session must be a very soft disconnection, okay? Very often you go um, to take a massage from a, from a professional somewhere and they just, you know, massage your body and then they say, okay, that's it, thank you, bye-bye. You know, it's a little bit harsh, it's a little bit too hard. When you are opening your whole body and your whole being and you are in the state of intense receptivity, just be really soft in the way you, you, uh, you bring the disconnection moment. So what it means is that very often you will just put your hand on, on that person's heart and keep it there for a few, a few uh, maybe a minute before you, you gently disconnect. And um, then you give that person the, the, the space to be by themselves for a moment, you know, maybe a few minutes and uh, to, to disengage. So here is another hint, especially if you are lovers with the person who is the, the receiver, um, don't engage into another practice, don't engage into sex, don't engage into a, a spontaneous exchange of love making straight away after. Because very often uh, those kind of sessions, the sessions, the giver receiver sessions are going to be having a very strong healing or energetic impact. So very often your the, the receiver will be in this place of digesting energies and it's very important to have the space where they can you know, allow themselves to relax and make a clear cut or a clear transition before you jump into any other practice. So ideally, I would say, you know, you might have a, a healing session or a sexual activation session or a tantra session for about maybe half an hour, maybe an hour, and then you disconnect. Then you go take a shower, you know, relax, uh, chill for a moment, 
and then um, allow that person to come back in their own time. If you are really turned on because there is lots of sexual content uh, and you are lovers with that person and uh, you come up with um, you know, sexual agenda straight away, as the giver at the end of the session, you will interrupt the flow and uh, interrupt the, the, the safety and the nurturing aspect of what they have been receiving there. So um, it's important to keep an eye on that and usually uh, when you have a giver receiver session is like you have you are the giver and the other person is the receiver and then you inter you you finish that session and then maybe you have another session where you shift roles maybe half an hour or an hour later it's possible sometimes when you are having a tantric sex date to have like one you are the, the giver for 15 minutes and then the other person would be the giver for 15 minutes so it's possible to in, interact and, and shift roles relatively easily but especially when the session is a little bit longer you know like for instance one hour of in-depth healing session making make it like a safe complete container where you don't mix agendas within that that container okay I hope that makes sense. Go and enjoy this technique, especially if you have a lover, a partner, husband, wife, somebody you have been in a relationship for a long time. Having the possibility to create that safe space and give each other this uh, healing or sexual activation touch is, is like, it's massively powerful, beautiful. I'll see you soon.